Hi, Dr. Uh, Muhammad Allo again. Today we're going to talk about uh, troponin. So troponin is the one of the greatest uh, advancements in cardiac care in the last 10, 15 years. This is a blood test that can tell us with absolute certainty whether or not somebody is having a heart attack. Um, it's very quick, it's very fast, you can, you'll know the results within seconds. Now it takes about uh, up to four hours for troponins to start rising in your bloodstream. If you're having a heart attack right now, um, it may take a while for the troponins to start rising, but we know with absolute certainty either heart attack yes or heart attack no. Prior to uh, troponins, we had to look at CK and CK and Bs and look at the fraction and the percentage, uh, but we don't have to do that anymore. In fact, most new cardiologists don't even know what that is. Um, so troponin test has been an amazing uh, advancement. It's an, it's an amazing test. It's very quick and easy. The one thing that's really good about troponin is it is very specific to the heart. Uh, troponin only comes from the heart. Nothing else leaks troponin. Um, if somebody said troponin is positive, they're having a heart attack. There's nothing else that causes it. They have ischemia to their heart. They have some kind of infarction or something. There's, it's coming from the heart. Now, there are a few other conditions that may uh, cause troponin leak, but ultimately the troponin does leak from the heart. There are other conditions that can um, cause that to happen. For example, if you're hypotensive or you're in shock or you have a raging infection, anything that would cause your oxygenation levels or, or, or blood pressure to drop significantly can make your heart ischemic. Real bad heart failure, pneumonia, sepsis, those kind of things. Um, in the case of end-stage renal disease, and pulmonary embolism is one too, um, in the case of end-stage renal disease, you can't clear troponin. Um, and if somebody has underlying coronary artery disease and they're going to get dialysis and they have all these huge volume shifts, you know, you, you, they build up volume, then you take it all off in dialysis three times a week, that all causes cardiac ischemia. So you will have some low-level uh, troponin. Now, the important thing about troponin is to look at the pattern. Um, if somebody's having a heart attack, their troponin level is going to bump uh, to a certain level and then slowly trail off. Um, it may take up to 10 to 14 days to clear it completely, and it can linger in your bloodstream. It'll keep coming down, but it'll, you know, tail off. If somebody has a chronic elevation of troponin, it's always 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 every time they come in. They're not having a heart attack. You know, they have one of those other conditions that may be um, leading. So keep that in mind. It is very important to look at the pattern of elevation. I hope you learned something about troponin today, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask, subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media.